Last episode, we launched the boat and took out a bunch of wiring from the old electronic instruments to make way for the new instruments. Now that we have seen where the wires essentially end up, well, I've taken all the old wires out, and we're getting ready to put in the new system, but I want to show you first in the cockpit kind of where this is all going to originate to actually see the electronics on the screen and then we'll work backwards from there. Let's take a look at the cockpit. So the old screens, I actually took some footage of taking that stuff out, which I'll show you here. So here was the old electronic screens. There's three of them. And I'm gonna take these off and then replace these with the other two. So I'm gonna take that off. Here's the third one. Looks like they've used a different type of a screw here, so it's a non-stainless. And it's all, it's all rusted. That's what happens when you use non-stainless steel on boats. Unfortunately, this was what I was a little bit afraid of. If you'll notice, the back here is like that. Now the new ones, this is what I was telling you earlier with the fact that nothing is easy when you go to replace stuff on a sailboat. It's gonna be a huge ordeal, this included. You see this huge square situation i think the other ones that are there now are smaller anyway this is the a lot of the boat project stuff is a lot of contemplating a lot of sitting and thinking like okay how do i do that um thinking like a chess player right you're just sort of like if i put it there how would i engineer it versus here now what am i going to do with these holes all right let's continue i didn't have the camera on but this is one of the most brutal repairs i've done so far I filled in this hole with a tiny layer of fiberglass from the inside. I had to open up this lazarette. I had to then go down here. So I had to go there with my epoxy and my brush because I had to tip, 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 tip around the entire uh, hole there from the inside because it's a tiny layer of fiberglass and I couldn't get through to the middle of the hole because I didn't want to rip through it. So I'm in there like a surgeon with this epoxy in a painful position. But I got a thin layer, got a thin layer of the epoxy all the way in it. And now what I'll do is I'll wait for that to dry and I'll be able to come back and I'll be able to fill in uh, the hole there with some more fiberglass, but after this it'll be so much easier because now the hard part's done So now I can just fill in the rest of that hole and then these other two I'm gonna work with to cut out a huge square uh, Right in the same spot so I can put the new screen displays And it comes with a template Right, so you cut out the shaded area. I went and made a photocopy of this put them perfectly side by side. Let's see if I can show you. So the old ones, and then this one I filled up, which I will actually paint. I've, I've taken this right on the edge because I wanted to move it over as far as I could this way. So it's always nerve wracking whenever you're gonna make the final cut of something like this. It's a huge hole in the fiberglass, so. All right. Might as well make it happen. Let's see what we can do. I had to take the steering wheel off just now. Or the helm. I had to take the helm off because I needed to get a better angle with the tools for this cutout. So let's go for this. Let's go start the second cutout. Uh, but no, 
now I'm going to sand it down a bit more because it's just, just a hair uh, too small, which is actually perfect. So I'll sand the edges and then I think the uh, screen will fit right in there. Here's the old hole, pretty smooth. And here are the two new holes for the screens. After hours of sanding, this now fits perfectly. And then in the inside, I'll have the wire going to that right there, which is gonna be our NEMA 2000 cable. In the meantime, I wanna paint this with a white primer paint. It's not gonna be exactly the same shade because the other stuff is weathered over the years and it's kind of lost its bright white color. Nonetheless, it's obviously going to be better than keeping the... Uh, it's going to be better than obviously keeping the huge hole in there, or the, 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 the visual of where you can see the old hole. Let me see if I can find my paint. That's another problem when you start working on your boat and you also move out of your place, your apartment, you start having crap everywhere and it's hard to find what I need. So it's important to keep it well organized. Oh, here we go. Found it. This is my paint I'm gonna use. It's actually, um, it's actually a primer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep the surface. So I'll go ahead and let that dry, and then I will uh, go over it with a fine, very fine sandpaper to smooth it out. And then I will do another layer. I think it's actually looking pretty good already. Uh, a little bit ghetto with the um, with the paint uh, with the paintbrush streaks and whatnot. So that's why I'm going to sand it down and make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, what's next? Yeah. I've still not told you what the name of my boat is. So when I first bought the boat, so the boat name before I bought it was Sea Cat. I kind of like the idea of an animal name, um, but I didn't like cat because um, obviously, you know, catamaran, right? It should be a catamaran if it's a sea cat. I don't think catamarans weren't even that popular back in 85 when this guy bought the boat. So I also in the spirit of the Mike Plant movie, Coyote and his, his boat, uh, I kind of wanted to stick with an animal name. So I was just thinking to myself, I like the kind of exotic animal, uh, what is one of my favorite animals and what kind of looks like a sailboat with the mast? You can probably already guess, a giraffe. So my boat is named Giraffe. I know it's bad luck to change the name, um, so we're gonna have to do the name changing ceremony at some point soon. But right now I'm going to install the decals for the boat, Giraffe, very excited. I'm gonna have some stickers made up that have gir sailing giraffe, and I'm gonna have them uh, available for people who wanna join on Patreon. So I'll link again below my Patreon page. Thanks to a couple people who have already uh, signed up with me. It's great getting to know you, kind of emailing back and forth. It's actually, I don't know, I've never, never done something like this, so it's really fun to kind of actually get to know somebody um, through that community. Um, gentleman from Hawaii and we've been emailing back and forth nicest guy you know sent me a photo of him and his son and had their first sailing lesson recently so it's you know it's really cool to connect with folks so thanks again for all the comments and the views and the likes let's keep this journey going we'll see you next time thanks